We did, we did a food challenge. How did it go, Adam? Didn't go well, mate. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to keep the meat. Right. Like, I think if Gordon Ramsay were there, he'd be like, this is fucking disgusting. You're going to fucking kill someone. Uh, but I thought, it'll, Adam will survive because he's got like the iron stomach. It actually looked like a prop at the end. So like on did, yeah. item number eight of what should have been 10, it looked like a prop piece of meat. <laughs> so then, so with that, and it's, it's like half past seven at night, it's dark outside. A family of fucking 16 have come into the restaurant to eat. And we're like at the top well, of- even a restaurant, it was like, they made it look like a restaurant. I think it moved premises because it's like now a takeaway with a few tables and I'm like, oh, what we got ourselves into here? Wait, this is not gonna work. I know we're in a video. And I, you, know, you know the reason I, I pulled the plug? You know the reason, but it wasn't because we couldn't have got a video out of it. The reason I pulled the plug is. I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. And uh, I'll tell you what, I've seen too much of you this week. <laughs> you can have too much of a good, too much of an average thing, can't you? And that's, that's this is the Breaking Bread podcast, though, so just in case you're wondering. Let's be honest, though. You did actually message me and say, what, you you, you can actually put with, some, put, put with me for some more this week? I did, yeah. Well, I, don't, I can be tough to be around sometimes. Fuck, right, you can. You're By the way, I was, just gonna, I was just going to ask you, are you cutting down some trees lately? Are you going to log in or something? What's that outfit about? You know, a lumberjack season, isn't it? That's what, that, yeah, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, I mentioned logs. Do you not like my jacket? Uh, it's actually quite smart. Are these all right, by the way? What's the, it called? The shacket? Is this called the shacket? So I passed the shoe test this week. Is yeah, they're, right? they're a bit more. Yeah, they're all right. I, I'm actually like your jumper this week. Yeah? Yeah, it's nice. That's no. generally a sign that I'm going to I'll have to like, give it away then to Oxfam or whatever. If you like it, I can't be wearing it. <laughs> give it away to Oxfam? <laughs> No, whatever you do with it, I just give it to Lindsay and she gives it to people. How are you feeling, mate? Have you cheered up from uh, this week's antics? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all right, man. We're going to go and talk about this. George didn't even know yet. <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm, feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty good, man. I'm feeling yeah. pretty good, yeah, today. Uh, slept quite well last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Any, uh, Any no more, no more wet dreams? dreams? 40, no, I don't. <laughs> wet dreams? I'm nearly 40 years old. What's wrong with you? You don't have wet dreams at 40 years old. Wait, is there like a scientific cutoff point for, for wet dreams, George? I don't think so. I'll Google it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope nobody ever checks like the search history on that computer. God. That's his computer as well. Uh, no, I'm like, I'm nearly 40, man. I don't remember the last time that happened. It's <laughs> probably like 18 or something. Uh, but you know, no, no, I just think I slept reasonably well. I don't I, I don't know why. You were, uh, when I pulled up today, you were sat in, in your car for quite a long time. So I was yeah. wondering, I didn't know if you like had a heart attack God. or something. <laughs> no. Heart attack? I'm in perfect cat. <laughs> I was I was doing some uh, I was doing some cameo messages. For, uh, Fucking hell! It's getting that time of year, isn't it? People getting the Christmas ones. You know, I'd really? love to see I'd, if we could put a GoPro on the dash when you're doing them. Because can you imagine what this? Or is? just outside the car. Yeah. Can you imagine what it looks, looks like? He's like proper dead inside. Like this. <laughs> right. Pro- like just imagine. It. In fact, like, let's re. Why would let's, you let's say that? Let's re- like, it. Like fucking dead inside. Sat in Morley, raining, pissing down, and he's like. <laughs> What's happening? It's your mate, beer the air. Uh, Dave good. tells me it's your birthday. Uh, make sure you eat lots of food. Keep watching. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Takes a deep breath. He's like, fucking hell, lovely. No, I... I uh, Sacks himself up. He's like... Oh, this guy. What's happening? It's your mate, beer the air. Uh, oh, fuck it. <laughs> that's that, that's what, how it goes, right? What, what does it matter, like, inside and out of the message? Like, the message is... is <laughs> I've got five-star reviews, mate. You can fuck yourself. Are you on Cameo? No. Nobody's been asking Josh Gudgeon for a... Oh, are you that guy from fucking Octagon? Yeah, I saw you at that event where they sold 19 tickets. Can I get a cameo from you? Why did you get me fired? Good. You're, you're fucking quitting anyway. <laughs> this is officially uh, fight week, actually. We'll talk about it later. But, George, we're getting ahead of ourselves again. Yeah. You need to keep law and order in this in. place. Um, so if we can, you know, you know, we start. Let's do some YouTube comments. It's time for a YouTube comment from you. Right. First comment is from Jake Mallet. Unsubscribing from the Breaking Bread podcast after Beard slagging off of Sheffield. How will we ever recover? Do you think there's any relation to uh, Timmy Mallet? <laughs> Why are you eating your yogurt, you? <laughs> I don't think you're fucking a Well, because I figured you're talking. Like, it's not <laughs> offensive, is it? Yeah. Why the fuck are you eating in the middle of this? And that is the runniest porridge I've ever... What the fuck is wrong? You're a psychopath. What do you mean? That's no, like- that, it looks all right like that because you're pulling the porridge out, but like when I can see it from the angle, you could see the like wateriness on top. It's not watery, look. Anyway, you shouldn't be eating it, right? Go on, next, what's the next one, George? <laughs> I don't give a shit about fucking Timmy Mallet. <laughs> <laughs> can I just say, Jake, we appreciate your sub- subscription here. Not this guy, this fucking prick. 
I don't, I, think, I don't think he's going to unsubscribe. Do, do, you th- we might have some, I, I, do you think, though, that perhaps that was all tongue-in-cheek? I, if you recall, I mentioned m- num- numerous times in that episode, I didn't want to just sit there slagging off towns. I thought it was going to be like a little bit of batting back and forth. I live in a fucking dump called Castleford. I'm just going to admit <laughs> it. Now. It's called fucking Google Castleford, right? And I've got no room to talk about like any any towns on planet Earth. Beard's got that much money he could buy Castleford, but he still fucking lives there. <laughs> if I bought Castleford, I turned into one of those, you know, those, like mad ghost towns where like, they, you know, they, p- people formerly lived there. Now they still exist. Oh yeah. I'd turn, I'd be like, right, everyone get the fuck out. <laughs> I probably wouldn't actually forcefully displace people, especially at this point in time. <laughs> but um, what I'm getting at is, it's all just a bit of a laugh, mate. Yeah, chill out. Uh, <laughs> this one's a bit more positive. Danny Pragnall says, "I wasn't expecting this to come out on my birthday, but it did. Got to listen on my way to work, on my way back, and on the way to the pub. Fully set me up for a great birthday, guys. Thank you so much. By the way, I'm drunk writing this, so you know you've made my day. <laughs> we'll be absolutely blown away if Beard judged this on the pod. Love you guys, Danny P. Judged this? Well, I don't know." The fact that he's I thought it was like an attached picture drunk right in the YouTube Oh right, that, that well Danny, it means a very it means a lot to me. It's hard for me to sound sincere, but it means a lot to me when people enjoy things that I am in some way involved with. So if it made, if it cheered you up a little bit, mate, or it, it made your day on your birthday, uh, I I'm I'm happy to hear it and happy birthday. Uh hope you had a good one. And uh yeah, man, thanks for thanks for watching. It means a lot. And he's just turned twenty five as well. Twenty five. Oh, you could go out on shag together. Man, can we, keep that, can we keep that in? Is that meant to be? Why do we just have to take it there, though? I mean, I mean. <laughs> anyway, what's the next one? Next one from P1 Fanatic. Josh Defo wins on the shoes. As in, that, by, what I thought about that is like, are you winning that yours are worse? No. No? I think no. Win is in. Uh, is that the last comment, George? One more comment. Oh, oh, right, have on you then. brought some comments? Well, I, I did see quite a few, actually. I don't, normally, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't bother fucking check them. Like, I check them on my own channel, right? But I'm basically an employee here. I've said that a few times, right? So it's not my it's job like to check them. It's like work for us all. Yeah, well, for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, like, but I actually had the time to check them. I don't know. I don't, don't know why. But anyway, you go on. Uh, last comment from Big Fan 8830 Shall we read his out? One of his out last week. Yeah. Remember? Did you call him Big Fanny? Ah, oh, welcome back, Big Fanny. We like Big Fannies round here. Oh. <laughs> the real reason the real reason Adam hates Halloween is because he knows the next day the first Christmas tree goes up. You did say that, didn't you, on the on the old podcast? <laughs> Big fan. You know me too well. Yeah, that's true. If you try to get it up before. <laughs> we up the big fanny. Let's go. She uh, she she tries to convince me that it was worth I think because of my disdain for uh Halloween, she's like, oh, we could put our Christmas tree up, you know, and be contrary to everyone else in the street. I was like, no, that's not going to work. No, I did. I saw, um, oh, shit. I saw two actually, which I found, uh, news breaks for me. Yeah. I'm going to take the jacket off, but it's not, um, that warm yet. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, while you're doing what the fuck you're doing, um, th- I saw <laughs> two, com- planet today. <laughs> I saw, uh, I saw two comments, which were a bit odd. The first one was from Dulcy, Dulcy one, uh, which I think was in relation to me saying that my sister newly single, um, not that I'm pimping her out or anything, uh, w- w- was a bit too old for George because she's 10 years older than him. That was on the last podcast. Um, and uh, somebody has, has co- uh, said here, there are 20 year old girls dating 40 plus year old men. What's with the double standards beards? Beard, come on, you're better than that. Well, actually, no, that's not a double standard because that is not my standard. So like had like a 35 year old friend of mine asked, you know, male friend of mine said, hey, do you think I could get with George? Um, I'd say, no, you're probably too old. So it's not like a man woman thing. Yeah. So it, it, lesson for you today, mate, stop trying to paint your agenda on other people's words. Yeah. <laughs> Always a good uh, way to live your life. And, uh, the other one, uh, that I saw, which I, I didn't really get, but it was from a guy called Jason Baker, two, two, five, five, dude, I love watching you smash food, but last three videos, just the same as you have done knee content, please, Mr. Beard, which I've been thinking like, did he mean knee in the Scottish sense as in stop making content as in like knee content, Beard? <laughs> or like, did he mean like new, new? content, I think. And if he meant new, then uh, that kind of got me thinking that the last three videos were a foot challenge, which are not that common. Before that, it was like an Italian meatball challenge, meatball sub with a hundred pound, ca- uh, with no sixty dollar cash prize, which I've never done. And before that, it was a poutine challenge, which I've only done two of. So if you're gonna pick three to complain about, you probably pick the three worst ones, mate. Like maybe a breakfast challenge, I get it, burgers, yeah, but I kind of do like real food challenges, right? You could go watch those channels where they they get paid by restaurants to make them up, right? So they'll go and be like, oh, I'm at like Steve's fucking cookie place, and they're doing a made up food challenge. I've been paid to like create. Um, 
or you could watch videos where I'm, you know, you're doing real ones that actually are on the menu at restaurants, which is what I do, I meaning I'm limited to what kind of cuisine is out there. So, uh, yeah, hope that abates your... Uh, what was the restaurant that Shem was on about? You chose violence chat. this morning. You, you <laughs> fucked me. I was on right. down there like, I don't well, know I was, what the fuck just happened. You <laughs> have to put the, like, the Adam Morantz uh, little yeah, jingle yeah. in front of it. <laughs> When he just like at that point where he started talking, just start fading him out and just you know that like, <laughs> yeah, and then, and then put the monkey on, boom, boom, and then we'll all just come back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Breaking Bread podcast. Uh, Shem, uh, he sent us a message on. Oh, Shem, yeah, yeah. Uh, the fighter, one of the fighters from the Octagon, tagged you and me in on Instagram. Apparently, Molly the Molly the Meatball McCann has got a meatball restaurant. So we're like, oh, you should get beer down there. <laughs> not a fucking chance of eating there. <laughs> <laughs> He, was, he, was, he tagged Paddy the Baddy, Molly. None of them replied, so I don't think anyone want, anyone wants to play out with you. I can't see why. Well, oh. nobody replied, including me, so the, the feeling's mutual. Uh, <laughs> should we explain why there's still Halloween shit around? You can't, can you do it while I go blow my nose I'm still, still got the old... Uh, he's he's not coming ready yeah. today. I know, he says, can you come and do a pocket? Yeah, of course, mate. I, could, I move some shit around, come in, and he's fucking eat, it, eating, his, eating his oats and, and, and blowing his nose. and <laughs> Feeling better now, mate? Champion now, mate. That was yeah, good. Yeah, th these are just like leftover because it's actually still technically before Halloween. I don't know when this is going to go up. Um, but yeah, this is G George decorated the studio. <laughs> Linz was not happy. She saw a picture of it, I guess, on somebody's Instagram. And she was like, is that the extent of your decorations? For the studio? extent of my decorations? I think that's pretty good. I, I know. I, I was, I see, but you know, she's a hard... That woman, wide shot looks class, I yeah. think. I, I, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not saying I, I align my views with hers, George. I'm just saying that she was not well, happy with the extent of... Well, Lindsay. <laughs> Why don't you come and uh, careful, the careful, <laughs> careful, son? <laughs> Fucking hell, show, dice, show yeah. me how it's done. Dicey, dicey territory there. Um, so, should we get on the main talk? Well, one of the talking points of this episode is um, you might have meant like two days ago we recorded the previous podcast and we were going to go to a city in the north of England for Adam to do a food challenge. Right, steady, because we can't be telling, we can't be giving away where this is because I, I don't want to talk. On the last about episode, anyway, didn't you? Well, but yeah. It's a bit of a goose chase for him to find it at that point, but we didn't. We never mentioned the type, the name of the restaurant, so we're good. Um, so we went, we went to do a little food challenge. Crewed up, didn't we? Put, Adam put a full shift in. We drove an hour and uh, an hour and forty minutes uh, from Morley. There you go. You can f help you figure it out. <laughs> and uh, we did, we did a food challenge. How did it go, Adam? Didn't go well, mate. In fact, I don't really want to like relive it. It was uh, we, we had to stop the stop filming. Mid, probably seventy percent of the way through the the, the shoot. Shall, shall, we can say what. Um, no, no, I'm not going to get into, no? no, 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 because I don't want. It's not. It's not cool. To, even if a restaurant fucks something up, deserve it. Even if they deserve it, it's still it's a person's business. I'm not in this to to uh, <laughs> to, to uh, destroy a person's livelihood. But yeah, needless to say. Um, it, for, was, it was not a, a productive day. For context, George, you know this. You know what sort of food challenge it was. So we drew, we left here. What I don't know, two, what, half past one, one it roughly. So we had to get there. For, they said we can start setting up from four pm. So we got there early. We were there at half three. Went through the doors at four o'clock. Greeted by a lovely scent of bleach, which uh, did a lot for my appetite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like as soon as we got there, as soon as we were fucking swimming bath. As soon as we got in there, <laughs> God, they were like, "Oh shit, we better start cleaning up." So they're just like mop and bucket everywhere. And it like smelled like chlorine, just fucking bleach everywhere. <laughs> Burning your eye, man. Skin's going like three shades whiter. And then we say, so we set up. It takes like an hour to set up. So at this point, it's like half five. And we're like, right, we're, we're ready to rock. He shoots his little bit. We shoot, piece the camera outside, get the B-roll. And then we're like, right, well, let's go into the kitchen. And uh, and again, the same in there, like kitchen nightmares, bleach the whole gaff. And they pull the, the meat out that's going to be eaten. And <laughs> start sneaking it on the grill. And at this point, I should have thought... I'm not a chef, but to me, I was like, I don't think, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to keep the meat. Right. Like, I think if Gordon Ramsay were there, he'd be like, this is fucking disgusting. You're going to fucking kill someone. <laughs> uh, but I thought, it'll, Adam will survive because he's got like the iron stomach. <laughs> the iron the, stomach. <laughs> apart from the uh, salad in Warrington that almost killed him. That, that was just kind of spicy though, I think. <laughs> but any, these, I don't, we, don't, we don't really need to cover it in detail. These, no. uh, we started the, the shoot and I started eating. And I ate a significant amount before having to actually bail because the the uh, it was not possible for me to finish, and not because I was full. Put it that way. Is that, is that the best way to describe it? Yeah, the food became it went from um, melting your mouth meat mm. to uh, 
<laughs> it was never melting your all mouth right. meat. Like, let me tell you that. Man. All right. It was almost edible meat to <laughs> inedible meat. It actually looked like a prop at the end. So like on did, yeah. item number eight of what should have been 10, it looked like a prop piece of meat. <laughs> so, then, so with that, and this, this point, it's fucking half past seven at night. It's dark outside. A family of fucking 16 have come into the restaurant to eat and we're like at the top well, of- even a restaurant it was like they made it look like a restaurant I think it moved premises because it's like now a takeaway with a few tables and I'm like oh what we got ourselves into here but imagine we're in this, this gaff and we're at the back and we've set up like a full studio so there's like lights three cameras boom mic everything like we like almost like on a stage we're on like this top stage and then he starts having a fucking hissy fit and you know I'm like Come on, Adam, you can do it. I'm, I'm trying to spur, I'm like, come on, mate, you can do I wasn't do having a hissy fit at all. What I, what, was, what I said to you was, you were trying to convince me to keep going. I'm like, look, man, we're going to be here till midnight. We, this is not going to work. I know we're in a video. And I, you know you know the reason I, I pulled the plug? You know the reason I played. It wasn't because we couldn't have got a video out of it. The reason I pulled the plug is because if I had uploaded that video, oh, yeah. that restaurant would have been absolutely obliterated because there's some weird, peer, weird people Weird people. Weird people. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> there are some weird people out there who like, when I've done things at a restaurant and they've not agreed, they'll, they'll go on and like review bomb them, which is not fair. And I don't, it doesn't yeah. do, I don't want that to happen. So I'm saying to the guy, I, I said to him, I'm trying to explain to this guy, you, th- this video is not going up on my channel. Is like, why? I'm like, because if I put this video on my channel, this is not going to be good for you because ribs are not supposed like- <laughs> He just said it. <laughs> <Clean that. laughs> ribs are not supposed to <laughs> look like prop ribs. <laughs> They're not supposed to be like this, basically, right? Um, and it's not going to be, right? Cause, and they got progressively worse. Like, I'm thinking, I said to you, and I was like, if you told me <laughs> to make this food type this, <laughs> this badly, I would not know where to start. It, like they'd be, it was like they'd been cauterized or something. It was, it was almost like rib jerky. Yeah. I've said ribs again. Yeah. But like, <laughs> it, was good, they, yeah. it was like, I don't know what, I, I, at one stage, actually, I thought they had cooked it with the plastic on. Yeah. Because it was, it was that shiny bit on the yeah, back. I'm yeah. like, what is this? I'm not eating this. Like, you know what I mean? Like I've been in the hospital in three hours. I feel like I've watched like barbecue programs before, George, you know, like on Netflix. I like to watch this. this I don't watch movies. I watch like documentaries. Like I'm pretty sure there's like a barbecue documentary and on the back of a rack of ribs, there's like a membrane and I'm sure they pull the membrane off and then they season it so that it becomes like, you know, that you could take, and it definitely, the, the like last three that he had still had this membrane on the back, which is basically like, a plastic, it's like laminated. Right. So it's almost like I'm in the laminated sheet on the back of the ribs. And he was holding it up and he's like, I can't, I can't, I can't even break it. <laughs> and I'm just like, fuck. But the, the, what you've not even mentioned yet, the funniest part is like at the end. So I'm like, <laughs> you know what? It's only cost me fucking five grand to rent a crew for a day for, for no reason. Free of charge, free of charge. No, I don't throw them in the bus. I, I'm not th- trying right. to throw you the bus. I, I, what I said to you was, I can't have you do you and Blue it doing a full day's work for no money. Anyway, just get, let's get past that because I'm, I'm 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 thinking you know what, just let it go. You can't really think about it now, right? What would Josh do in this scenario? Be positive. So I'm like, cool, it's cool, man. I'll just wash my hands off. Let's get home. Cool, right? Mrs. Beard will be in bed, fast asleep. I can just sneak in the other room so I don't have to listen to a snore. Every, that's the, that's the that's the silver lining, right? And then he sees the. I'm like, can we just get the bill, please, man? You know, pay up and whatnot. And he comes around. He's like, how many how many servings of this thing did you enjoy you said ribs how many ribs? yeah how, how many did you enjoy i said oh, you know the first four were like all right mate i'm trying to be kind right <laughs> so he comes around he's like okay he's like so the bills are 70 quid i was like how is it how is it 70 quid when it's all you can eat ribs for 17 quid he's like uh but you had four and i'm like do you understand how all you can eat works like what how is it all you can eat if i have to pay for every single rack he's like oh but you had four and i'm like at this point, like, you know what? If I had finished, if, if we got a video out of it, I would have paid for every rack. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But he's, he's saying to me like, I can't, I can't relive, <laughs> look at his, look at his I can't relive it. And I, I, I'm like, but it's, it, you know, look at the sign. And then I get him to look at his own sign. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you can eat. Okay, 17 quid. <laughs> I'm like, what? So he obviously goes, like, goes to wash his face and his hands and whatnot. And the, the guy comes up to me then and he's like, uh, he's like, we, can we rearrange this? He goes, I will, he goes, I will go, I will go get 10 good racks of ribs so we can redo this. I went, 
mate, this is, I went, the point is, is that it should be edible the first time round. I went, look at how much money there is here. Like, look how many people there are. Like, we can't just come back. Because, it, like, it's free, Mark. It's like, it's just free. All you had to do was just cook the ribs. Like, we've done all the hard work. <laughs> like, he's had to fucking try and eat the ribs. All you had to do was just... The worst part not was shit. Like, but what about oh, the, 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 the statement, we'll get 10 good racks of yeah, ribs. Yeah, that's... <laughs> you shouldn't be saying that. should do that anyway. Yeah, I'd, whatever, man. Like... They, they had a lot covered, didn't they? Because they did a lot of different quiz. I don't want to give away where it was, but they put it put it this way: like they shouldn't have been. They were doing like lots of different types of cuisine, which was which had me. It'd thinking. be like going to a restaurant that was an Indian Italian restaurant. <laughs> yeah. So like, the, the, like there were two there was two menus on the table, and imagine the, imagine there's like it's a curry house as well as like lasagna and pizzas. You're going if Gordon Ramsay had walked in on Kitchen Nightmares, he'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> Hey, do you know, like, Matt Stoney was on the, apparently was on the new series of, uh, whatever. Nightmares, Kitchen Nightmares. I don't know, if, whatever he's filming right now. Is it Hell's Kitchen or oh, in America? Uh, I don't know. I thought I they think, were bringing back Kitchen Nightmares. I think it's Kitchen that. Nightmares, yeah. Oh, is it? Well, what, I, I only know because I saw it on Twitter this morning. Has it come oh, out yet? No, I don't think so. I think no. it was just filming. It's quite an American. Or maybe it was. Let's have a look. It was on, it was on the, the account Eat Feats, which kind of covers. Didn't that just follow you? Well, yeah, they do, but they, they cover the world's, like, competitive eating events. I don't know, probably have like 200 followers because nobody gives a shit, but uh, yeah, I saw he was on it, which is cool. Oh yeah, Hell's Kitchen. Oh yeah, he's on Hell's Kitchen, yeah. yeah. Star- it, 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 dining in a star-studded red carpet and your boy Matt Stone is on there. Yeah. Get the fuck out. I, w- I mean, like, I wouldn't go, so like, but <laughs> nice to be invited though, I suppose. Mm. I keep thinking I want to get on that Bake Off thing, man, because it like winds me up when they don't eat the cake. And you know, this, it's like, <clears throat> I Googled it, right? And there's this bullshit that, oh yeah, all the crew eat it. And I'm like, man, the crew for that's probably like no more than 20. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not buying it. And I'm, the amount of, the size of the cakes, I'm like they're not, they're not finishing them. They're just saying they finish them to avoid the public backlash. But like I could actually be there and assist, you know, like when, they, when the judges go like, mm, they take like one spoonful, oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm like, are you at least doing a slice? Fuck's sake. Somebody makes a cake that looks like a dog. I'm like, bosh, dog's, dog's head's coming off. <laughs> yeah, you need to taste some of it. Don't you need like, like a little tiny you sliver know, of do it? Do you remember like Big Brother, where they used to do like the Big Brother like after show? If there was a Bake Off after show, that could be... I think there is a Bake Off after show. Is there? I watched Bake Off. In fact, I, I know there is because, because Lynn's once put it on last night and she was... Uh, disappointed that it was that after show, not, not the actual show. show. Ah. It's called like Extra Slice or something like that. <laughs> Way. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, they should call it um, Breaking Bread. I think I'd be good. I mean, can you think of a better judge of cake than me? I fucking love cake. I just don't think you can be jolly enough for long enough. Yeah. I, I, I think that's that. I'd do that. I'd probably do that for no money though. There's very little that I would do on TV for, without being paid. Yeah. But if they said, come on the show, you get to eat like infinite amounts of nice cake shaped like dogs and you know stuff like that i'd probably do it for a long should we drop him a line we're, we're in with channel four now me and uh, you don't, you don't invite, i will watch i will <laughs> invite yourself to i'm watching uh, bake off last night and i'm like how the fuck did we end up getting some on channel four because like how high end that program is there's a lot going on massive crew and then there's fucking us idiots <laughs> that have thrown together a 15 part documentary <laughs> and got it on channel four it's good that you should be proud of yourself uh, man. what a joke what a fucking joke <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking mad isn't it <laughs> Should be proud of yourself as a good documentary, man. Hey, though you lie, you haven't watched 15 uh, episodes of that shit. I, no, I didn't say I watched 15 episodes. <laughs> I watched fucking 15 minutes. <laughs> it's officially fight week this week. Yeah, well, I, I still don't, I've still not got a ticket. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> no. Bleak that out, George. Put the, pay, pay yeah. the, genuinely bleak that out. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if that's the right amount of money, but I know that he's got, obviously been paid to do pay, some pay, paid pay, advertising. Paying pay through Jody to do some advertising. They can't, they can't get, give me a free ticket to come. It could be like, fuck your name in the head, Paul. <laughs> I'll buy you a ticket. Do you want to go? No, George needs a companion to go with. It's fucking George is gone as well. I mean, I suppose he did the work. We probably can't talk about this on camera. I'll tell you about it after. Right. So yeah, that's that. That's a bit, like I said, fight week this week. I was filming with uh, Paul yesterday and he looked very, very good. You mean good like in condition wise or like technique wise or what? Uh, mentally, physically and technique. He did How you... can you look good mentally? No, he was in good mental. Good spirits. S- good spirits. Uh, but he was on the mats doing jiu-jitsu and he looked very good. You don't think you could beat him? Pardon? You don't think you could beat him? No, I, I mean, I, yeah, I think he'd uh, give me a, a tough round now. He, he was, he, like, he was so active. That was the most impressive part. Like, when he got swept and he weren't, like, he were, if he were in a bad position, he were only there for seconds, then he got back into a dominant position. I was like, that's impressive, that. He said he's not good at finishing, like, submissions, but he's good at reversing positions and just maintaining pressure, which is all you need in a fight. Because then you can just fucking jab him. Was that his last <laughs> sparring session that you were filming? 
That was his last uh, hard jujitsu session, yeah. So that right. was that's it. Camp's camp's done and dusted. Are they all going to make weight? Key thing. That's the challenge. See, no. if you don't make weight as a fighter, Paul, you need to Paul, be like Paul, lifetime banned. I think Paul will definitely <laughs> make weight because yeah. he's the fra- he's got the frame for it. I think Jake's going to have a tough time because he's, he's six foot two, not an ounce of fat on him, and he's what, all, what weight they got to be? Uh, Seventy seven kilos. <laughs> how many how many kilos do you weigh? This morning, sixty nine. Right. Okay. Hey. Uh, yeah, weighed 150 spot on pretty much this morning, which is too light, man. <laughs> it's because Mrs. Beard said, well, she wears less than you, you have a beard. <laughs> is and is. he's like, wasting away. Did, did, we did we mention it on the podcast? I don't know. Tell us the story. So, so like, so <laughs> everyone knows, I think that, uh, Lindsay's been, I'm really proud of her, right? Because she's been like, she, her diet's a little bit better. You know, she used to have a fucking terrible diet. She started exercising. She wanted to decide she wants to lose, lose, wanted to lose some weight. And then we made kind of a bit of a pact, like a jokey pact, you know, because she's always kind of, I say jokey, it wasn't a joke for her. But, we, we, you know, she's wanted a kid for a while and I kind of keep putting it off. I said, you know what, if you get lower than me on the, on the, on the scales, right, it's magic time, right? If I can, if I can, if I can do the business, right, it's, it, it can happen, right? So that's, she's so like, she's oh, a, what a gift. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Adam. This is all like tongue in cheek, a bit of a laugh. Like we're, we're doing this like maybe on a Saturday night, we've made this stupid agreement after I've had a few maids maybe. But anyway, so she's like gradually losing weight. When I, like, she'll be coming to me every morning like, what, what do you weigh? And I'm like, what do you weigh? And she said like, I weigh like uh, a one, 151 pounds or something like that. And I'm like, right. Game on now. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm going for runs like wearing like six layers of fucking balaclava, like <laughs> sweat all out. So that's probably what it is. Like subliminally, I'm not trying to do it. Although I suppose I am trying to do it. But, uh, <laughs> I can't get any lower than 150 pounds. It's way too small for me at my, size, at my age. And What was your like regular walking around weight with like normally, you know? Like 155, 156. That's usually. But like to be fair, like I, I've, hit like some PRs in the gym this week. So if you're losing weight and you're gaining strength, you, you're Ath- in a bit of a sweet spot there, man. Athlete, mate, aren't you? I know. I, well, I do tend to get a lot of time to it, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, did we not talk about this on the last podcast, George? I've got notes here. So I got I got recognised again in, tes- in Tesco's. We did. Did we, did we speak about the guy that did it? Uh, you, were buy- you said you were buying fudge. And F- fire, the him. yogurt, the, y- the yogurt. <laughs> I know, we just call it fudge. We just got the same sh- story. I don't know, a guy, a guy with a red jumper and pink blue hair. He didn't say that. I don't know. Anyway, a, message, a guy called, I wanted to just give a shout out, Luke uh, Norwell. He said that he recognised me at Tesco's, but he was with his sister. And I'd just gone and had my hair cut, so I'm kind of like fluffy and, and whatever. And he, well, apparently his sister <laughs> were like, nah, it's not him. It was me. But he, did, he didn't say hello. So Luke, um, he's a big time listener, big fan of yours. Oh, cheers, Luke. So uh, yeah, you should have said hello, mate. Maybe next time. Um, oh, also, did I tell you I saw a car crash in, uh, not quite a car crash, a bit extreme, a bump in uh, Sheffield. I was down in Sheffield. Uh, what do we say about Sheffield? Oh, shit. Yeah. I told you it was a fucking nightmare <laughs> driving. Yeah, so, no, so I drove, I were in the city and I was going to a meeting and I, I drove in like this understory, uh, like underground car park. And the entrance to the car park was like down and around a corner, but on the left-hand side of the road, it was just like cars just parked. So I, to get into it, we're all right, because traffic wasn't that bad, but to get out of it, obviously if there were a car coming in the opposite direction, it would job fucked and there were like five cars behind me and there were one car that was trying to like reverse park into where these these cars were. Anyway, he felt this dude felt the pressure. <laughs> I, I, I won't beep it, I was just sat there waiting. He, could, he tried to get into the gap, couldn't quite get in, tried to pull out, smashed into the car in front of him <laughs> and then just fucking bailed. Like three oh, pointed and bail. No. Come on now. <clears throat> so I, I'm like, I've got six cars behind me. Can't I'm blocking. You've got witnesses. In it. I'm blo- I'm, so I took a picture. We should put it on screen. Uh, we'll, we'll put it on screen. Josh Goodgen. <laughs> so I took a picture. I'm like, motherfucker. Because I thought, like, if that were, I've had it where somebody's crashed into my car before. I've been to White Rose and come out front ends all bent in. Might have been me. <laughs> I've been seeing you drive. It wouldn't surprise me, Josh. <laughs> and I, I, so I, I thought, right, I've got to say something. <laughs> when Josh were here the other day, when we, we both left at the same time and his car were parked behind mine and he went, don't crash into me again. <laughs> all right. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. So I was sat out there, I'm like, right, I'm, I'm going to have to do something here. So I put hazards on, jumped out of the car, went to the car behind me, and it was a little old lady. And I said, look, I said, I've just seen that car crash into that car. I'm just going to leave a note on the windscreen. Fucking half a chef. Like, so I go back to the car. I had a notepad and pen, luckily, in my car. As I'm about to start writing on the pen, on the paper, beep, beep, move your dickhead. I'm like, 
Beep, beep, fucking move. I'm like, oh, come on, I'm trying to do a good thing. You know what? I've done that situation. I would have intentionally written as slow as possible. Yeah, really? Yeah. I'm, yeah. As I'm well. like shaking. I'm like been... panicking. I could have been like, Just give me a second there, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what do I want to write? <laughs> Yes, I, I, uh, I'd have gone to his window and gone, how do you spell this word? <laughs> you, walk, you, walk, <laughs> you walk down to my, like, why van man that's screaming at me. Yeah. I'm thinking of a word. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm getting the word. <laughs> I'm getting the word. <laughs> <laughs> Lad, you get his channel deleted. Man. He put that word in the title of the last one. Yeah, but I told him to star out. I know he didn't do it in the first place. <laughs> uh, anyway, I put the fucking thing on there. Did my good deed for the day. She, the lady rang me up. She's like, "Oh, uh, I've got, I've seen you know on my thing." I said, "Yeah, I saw somebody crash into your car. You're probably going to see a big mark on your bumper. If you need me to be the uh, the witness, I'm here for you." Uh, but that was my good deed for the for the for the week. Uh, under so much pressure, mate. Under stress. I can imagine you like pure shake. <laughs> oh, People are beeping at me. <laughs> I, I get it. If there places to go, but I was trying to do a good thing. Do you know what I mean? They didn't I, know I was trying to do. It, a good is it, it going to be like? I'm sure they can. They'll get the two minutes back, won't they? Did you not film it for a TikTok now? No. <laughs> no I should have probably. Like, like, is it virtue signaling now? Like, yeah. I, should, I shouldn't have mentioned it, should I? <laughs> Fuck. Cut yeah, that, George. You bastard. Um, Adam, I asked you to come up with some uh, current affairs. Yeah, what, um, by which we don't mean like serious. Not come up with them, yeah. we, we don't mean like serious current affairs. We're not going to discuss uh, anything <laughs> depressing. So I just took that to mean like look, casually look a few times a day on Twitter and see what nonsense is on there. So we could probably just call this site. Like, Shit I've seen this week. You do a jingle for that, George, what do you reckon? It's not really a jingle so much as just like a a little kind of drum fill. You can even call it that, can you? But anyway, um, what have I seen this week? I saw, uh, can I send you these videos after the fact and you can uh, yeah. overlay them? Uh, I don't know why. Um, I'm not really, I mean, I, I quite like golf, but I get too wound up to play it, you know, because it's like you can't really blame anyone else if you shit. It's not like a team spot. But anyway, I saw this on the, on Twitter. Uh, somebody driving off on one of those golf courses where they have a road going through it. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, uh, some guy playing, I don't know why this is relevant for podcast, but some guy playing golf, uh, I'll leave that out, uh, hit, hit a drive, took his drive and it um, hit a car. That, didn't you think that sounded quite satisfying? Yeah. <laughs> Like a proper pop, like. Yeah, I, I mean, I suppose that's a, that was a terrible drive, though. I mean, like, you need some elevation on that. You, know, <laughs> you could probably take a mulligan, you'd probably take it again. If his, if his friends are cool with him. Can you imagine, like, fucking old lad that's just a night 18 olds going home for a cup of tea? Just, like, teetering along that road. <laughs> straight side of the head. Yeah. My dad once got hit in the head. Um, I think you've told this. Yeah, yeah. But, like, your temple's one of those dodgy. You got, like, hit in the ear. I'm thinking, like, two inches that way. Could have been gone from this world earlier than he was. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, he took, well, he, he, no one would have been stood too close to T. Did he get idiot. stabbed as well, you know? He did, yeah, like multiple times with a screwdriver. I love that story. <laughs> one of my favourite stories, yeah. Um, and the, the, have I told the story before? We don't, we don't have to get into it. We'll get into Maybe. it. Maybe. You might have to say it now, aren't you? Well, no, it, it, the, the, my dad once got, like, when I, I was much younger, right, he didn't, when he didn't have mobile phones, he came home really late. Turned out he'd been in hospital, right? Because he'd been stabbed multiple times with a screwdriver in the fucking chest. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, but like, it was like my mum had always told me it was because he was getting in his car coming out of work, right? And somebody was trying to nick a car next to his. And my mum always told me that like, he'd been heroic and tried to stop this person stealing the car. And he got stabbed like twice, so once in his arm and then once further down. But he didn't, luckily, miss any kind of major organs or whatever. Um, and then years and years later, I'm in, this, in the pub watching footy with my dad. And I was like, hey, dad, do you remember that time that you did that? And he just starts laughing. He's like, yeah, your mum likes to, to to tell that story a bit differently from how it happened. I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like, well, actually, I saw this bloke nick in the car and I wasn't going to do anything. I thought, Fuck it, it's insured. It's not my business. I was going to drive off. The, only, the, the, the reason it happened was because he looked up, saw me looking and said, what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> Which is that, that's what made him get out of the car. The, the fact that, like, you know, somebody says something to him, and then he ended up getting stabbed multiple times, but he survived. So. <laughs> it's cool. Back when he had his perm and a full moustache. You look like little scousers, you know, from, is that Harry M. Fast Show? The ones with, like, the big perms and the moustache? Yeah, I think that is, yeah. Or, like, one of the 118 guys. 118, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, also, Adam, you, you sent us a horrific video into the chat. I don't know if that's part of your current affairs, but it's on my list of, uh, of current affairs. Oh, that squatting thing. 
I, can't, I haven't watched it. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't really want it. That, no, I just thought that was for fun. Really. Oh, right. I don't know if that um, was to be... Oh, the yeah. leg press thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How bad is it? It's pretty bad. Yeah, Can yeah. we show it? No. Uh, you probably nah. can't show it now. Not on YouTube. I don't what know. happened, George? Explain it to it's, me. I, 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 what, do I, I, think, what do you think happened? I think... The, I, did, I, I saw it pop up. Like, like leg the, press. You've been framed. After the break, guess what happens? I, I'm wondering... Uh, after the break. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, at first I thought, how is it going up and down like that? Because there's no legs there. What? He's wearing camouflage pants, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> you know, that, well, that was, that was the thing. <laughs> but I'm assuming that it's a military dude doing a leg press and uh, instead of his legs bending upwards, they then bent downwards. <laughs> yeah, hmm. you're right, you can spot on. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Just, just one of his legs went. Just one of them, yeah. Oh, did it? Went normal. Oh, went God. Round. Yeah, that's what you get for ego lifting, man. He's bouncing it off the like as a machine. He was doing it too quick. It's bad enough that you're doing that. Well, I mean, there's some utility for leg press, but like he's basically doing, you know, those people like load up fucking 500 kilos. Worth yeah, of there's like three of his mates sat on it yeah, for Instagram. Yeah. yeah. But he's like, but he's bouncing it off the bottom part of the, you know, when the machine hits the stock. Yeah. And, but he locks. Off oh, momentum. Yeah, but he locks his leg out at the top with like all this weight on there. <laughs> One of them goes the he's wrong way. He's supposed to lock you. No, I mean, you, you shouldn't ever fully lock him out to the point. He's literally got him locked out. So like, you know, when you actually fully mm -hmm. lock your knees, there's a point at which you could, they're almost semi-locked out, right? In that you, the, the tensions off you, your muscles, but he's fully got him locked out. So like, that's, that was about to happen. But uh, I don't think he, look at the video. He didn't really know what he was doing. So uh, I don't, I don't want to watch get, it. Get, get well soon. Don't watch it then. <laughs> uh, I've got some more talking points I, I brought up if, you, if you've got none. I've got some. Well, you yeah. carry on. Yeah. You go, mate. You go. <laughs> Not really stories. Do you know what I've discovered this week? And I can send you photographic proof of this. Do you know what the German is for birth control pills? <laughs> Nine babies. It's anti... <laughs> I can't say Anti-baby pillin. <laughs> anti Legitimately, that's true. Look, I'll put it in a Google Translate. <laughs> anti can I get some anti-baby pillins, please? <laughs> well, you wouldn't sell that because that's English, but you know. We ordered some. <laughs> No, but it's not just like... It's like I did over coffee to Mrs. Beard in the morning. Have your... Anti-baby uh, pillows. Anti-baby pillows. <laughs> that seems like needlessly literal, doesn't it? <coughs> anyway. Do you know what uh, ambulance is? Uh, I don't... I did German. No, no, no. Krankenwagen. Yeah, because the hospital's cr <laughs> Krankenhausen, right? I almost did like, a, you know, at school, you had to do like a, an audio, you know, you record it on a tape cassette. That's how old I am. And you had to do like an audio thing. And she said like, some of your grammar was wank, but your accent was exceptional. <laughs> That's what she said. I got like bonus points. <laughs> some of your grammar was wank. She didn't say it was wank. She said it was just, you know, not good. Oh, no, not as good as it could be. I was like, still, I got like a C or some shit in German, you know. Nice. Um, but she said your accent was amazing. I was like, so, sweet. That's all I need, man. <laughs> I'll just do his Arnie impression. I can't like do that. accents at all, me. Uh, like, I'm just, just not, it's not in my wheelhouse. No. You're you, good at- You did the uh, Scouse, all right, when you were doing Paddy the Baddy. What, what are you what are doing, lads? Have you seen that it came out, that UFC 5's come out and they've put Paddy the Baddy in it? Did you, have you seen that video? Have you seen the gameplay of that? It yeah. looks horrendous. It like looks I, shite. I used to have that like, for some reason <laughs> when I actually had a console. I had like UFC <laughs> 2 or some shit and that legitimately looked- and that played, was looked like it played better than the new one. It's like, how can you, how can the <laughs> how can game engine get worse? Yeah. yeah. Give us a South African accent. You're good at that. Oh, I've not done that for uh, a while. The fellow, in fact, I, I went for, a, there's a new coffee shop in Morley, Nesso Coffee. The fellow's South African. It's like a little independent. CT African. And uh, I was chatting to him this morning and he's South African. A big fan of yours as well, actually. Oh, nice. I mean, it's like, what about, what about sponsor the pod? Some, well, yeah, but like you could, instead of paying us in money, just give us some free coffee, yeah. which isn't that. I, 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 I joked with him. I said, we've got, um, we've got his own coffee brand called Breaking Beans. He's like, oh, bring us, bring us some down, brew. And I was like, South Africa. He should have called you a that, South Africa with a coffee shop. It should be called brew. <laughs> that sentence it was just, be. you should bring us some down, brew. <laughs> <laughs> That was the only word that was South Africa. I said I'd bring you some. We've only got out of date coffee back there now, aren't we? We're should from, do a collaboration. I, I'm just happy so to give. Sell them. Then I'm we'll happy to give them sold. money rather than Starbucks. Like that's my. Yeah, so, some uh, some like independent coffee places are better than the, but not like I mean, it's, coffee's one of those things. It's hard. Like you know, bad coffee and you know good coffee. I'm not going to pretend like you know those wine people that can tell the difference. I can't really tell the difference that much. You can. Nah, I can, between good and bad coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can tell the difference between this and like Starbucks, right? Yeah. But like between, I don't know, Starbucks and some, like some special coffee, I probably I'm not going to be able to tell that well. And then you've got, you got breaking beans. Something liquor for the wife, eh? 
What Denny, Denny Archer from uh, Blood Diamond, you know. That went a bit cockney at the end, but <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. I, I wasn't prepared. It was too early for this shit. <coughs> what? You said you had a good night's sleep? And it's still too early, right? We gone out the, I saw something else on Twitter, uh, <laughs> which I thought was just what you would, I think it was about your level. It made, instantly made me think of you. It was uh, just one of those like uh, picture things. He's saying that uh, ruin a film by replacing a word in the title with wank. And my first thought was wank shank redemption. <laughs> I don't know why. Ah, wanky Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my God. I may immediately regret to bring it up. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> oh God, I don't know. Oh, I need to think about that. I don't think I can top that one. <laughs> wanky Nemo. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. <laughs> you got Turbo Snail, Turbo Wank. <laughs> turbo the Wank. <laughs> Yeah, that was like, this is like the worst episode we've done yet. Uh, is it, when this comes out, has, has Halloween been? This will probably come out either on the Monday or the Tuesday. On Halloween. On then. Halloween, maybe. Well, so I uh, I sent you the link that I put, uh, them ghosts outside my house. Did you see them? I ghosts? Sent, I sent the ghosts. No. What? You didn't see it in the chat? I'll show you. I probably I can't put this up as well. This wasn't the costume, was it? The ghost, the costume. ghost costume. You realise yeah. how much of this is just in jokes? So the audience. <laughs> no, we're going to show it on camera. No. All right, you, we can't show this on camera. Can't show this on camera. If George says we, well, I'll tell you, we'll give you the the final say on if we can or can't. Right. YouTube. One second. Rough going. I cool. screenshot some more nonsense. Uh, if it's of any interest to you, um, this is a, again. This is about your level. Apparently, I don't know who this is. Do you know who this is, George? There's a. I, she looks like she's maybe a porn star or something. Um, <laughs> called Am Amuranth. Amaranth. Yeah, it says Amaranth is collabing with a beer company to brew a new flavour using her vaginal yeast. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm, I'm taking it in the gutter this week, but that just... Fucking hell. Look, I'm, it's not, I'm not making it up. I don't know who that is, but like... How do you... How, how do you... know what Mrs. Beard's getting you for Christmas? <laughs> I just, how do you I'd farm the yeast? Farm it? I don't know, man. Let's not get... I wish I'd never even... You brought that up? I know, but you just told me to screenshot things like from the week. And so, it happened that, like, like I said about Twitter, I say about it every week. It's like a minefield now. I don't follow that account, but I saw it. So you can make beer from fanny juice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're saying? I can't believe you brought this up, you, Adam. You, well, you're you a fucking. Yeast, don't you? I tell you what, should we, should we get, get back on like a little bit of a more PG? But these ghosts were outside my ha my house. No, you can't show it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> If I show it and then yeah. we'll just get it deleted on them and have to come back here again. Uh, I I've, got, I've got something for you, Adam. Okay, go on. So some people have been requesting money from you recently, haven't they? <laughs> they have, yeah. To buy houses. Good luck with that. You had some uh, some funny requests. What's the funniest request you've had? Uh, what about houses? Someone wanted you to buy their son a house. Oh, yeah. I don't really remember that verbatim, <laughs> but somebody said that. <laughs> they were, I sent me an email saying something like, all I'm asking for is like 10,000 quid. So I can buy my son the house of his dreams. It was 350 it was grand. The whole thing. Oh, was it? Was it was the whole thing. <laughs> buy a house outright for my son. <laughs> they clearly, clearly don't listen to the podcast. So but remember, listen. you sent us that, you sent it in chat and said, as if I'm going to like give up a day's salary for this. <laughs> day's mug in the fucking comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, you give up a day's salary for that failed shoot that we went on. <laughs> I have done, we've already, me and Josh had it. We had a little, no. Adam, Adam had stressed out, no, got to no, Boggs no. and me and, me and Josh no. had a little chat, chat and we went... We'll, we'll, we'll let this one slide. No, this one's, right. this well, one's, I'll this pay, one's. I'll pay Blue it separately then because he's got like a family and stuff to feed. He hasn't got a fa I've got a family. He hasn't got a family. Oh yeah, right. Anyway, do you see that story about the uh, the, the bloke that was uh, uh, kite surfing? Is that what they call it? Oh, that one on my list. Oh, right. Well, <laughs> I got, I've got the video. I actually yeah, got, yeah. The only reason I know about this is because I didn't see it on the internet. I saw it on the news, which I almost never watch, but I just had it on for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, he, he was, there was a, way, a whale breaching as he was like, uh, kite, whatever, whatever they call that, surfing with the, the wind kite thing. And a, a whale came up. Luckily, apparently it was a baby whale or a, like a young, Fuck, uh, a, a you juvenile imagine? whale. And he thinks if it had been a bigger whale, he might, may not have seen the light of day thereafter. What are the odds of that? Imagine that. You're know. just like bezing along, see, enjoying yourself in sunshine. <laughs> oh, good along. day, mate. Is he Australian? I don't know. What he is in this story. Ah, oh, good day. Ah, oh, no, fucking well. <laughs> Fuck me, a fucking while. <laughs> um, <laughs> Straight. Have, have you seen the video of the Aussie guy that's punching a kangaroo because it's trying to take his dog? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's like that. that. <laughs> no. You haven't seen it? Animal abuse. This become. kangaroo's literally like holding his dog hostage. Yeah. It's like a big, muscly kangaroo. And he just goes <laughs> over, tries to get the dog, and kangaroo just like squares up. So this guy squares up, just 
but <laughs> right hooks it. <laughs> Kangaroo just freezes and just goes, I, I can't believe I've just been punched. <laughs> like, it's hilarious. Well, yeah, oh, I suppose what would you do to an animal? Like, if in defence, you probably naturally, your reaction would be, you're not going to try and like get it in a rear naked choke, are you? You're probably going to try and strike it. I don't know, maybe choking it would be a good idea. There's another video. <laughs> I'm, I'm on this because I'm watching Shane Gillis on Netflix. His oh, it's good. Isn't it? it's good. Yeah, yeah. He talks about that video. And then I went on a <laughs> people fighting kangaroos <laughs> YouTube rabbit hole. So the guy was like, I'd run by the throat and was holding it back and stuff. Oh my God. They're vicious creatures, aren't they, kangaroos? Yeah, they can be. Fuck going to Australia, man. And just for the people that like, you know, the, the Peter people, I'm not saying that you should be no. violent towards kangaroos. I'm sure they're peaceful creatures when not interrupted by humans. Yeah, there's only about four people listening to this and I'm pretty sure none of them are in Peter. Well, you never know. Um, another vi- uh, So in spirit of um, the Patreon section of last week, we had a, an in-depth discussion about the uh, the viral Amsterdam <laughs> glory hole story. Didn't that turn out to be BS, like I said it was? It's been reported now. Does it? Yeah, it's nonsense. Because yeah. <sighs> it happened on the... Uh, there is a... I don't follow it. Or maybe I do. Have you seen that Twitter account, Didn't Happen of the Year? No. Oh, it's like you should follow it. Yeah. It's like, it's basically, you know, people that tell bullshit stories for attention. Yeah. And this account's called didn't happen of the year awards and at the end of the year they got just be fessile they come, <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah like that they, but they collate them and they give an award to like who's told the most bullshitty story you know um and it, that's a good, that is a good there. story well Should in, in spirit of that i saw i saw another video and it was like it said like new fear unlocked and it's this i'll show you it it's a dad and it, it's not like bad it's this this is like pg we can have it on the podcast okay it's a bad a dad facetiming his daughter before a night out <laughs> oh, where are you i'm at home where are you <laughs> I want to be what? It's like one of. It's like I want. I'm going out for the night. I want to be 100 percent sure that you're not out. <laughs> it's just like Amsterdam. So it's quite funny. It's like a new fear for dads that have got <laughs> thigh slap on that one, mate. Yeah, oh, uh, fucking prick. Uh, God, tell us one of your fucking stories, will yeah? Like, it's, like I said, it's, this is literally just a series of screenshots I took of things. Did you see? Um, not that I want to give any more publicity <laughs> to shit like this. Did you see uh, your mate? What's he called? Um, Gets fighting Tyson Fury. <coughs> Francis Ngannou. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the square off? <laughs> My mate. No. So like, for some for some unknown reason, John Fury. Yeah. Tyson Fury's dad. When the two squared off, so you've got Tyson Fury there, takes his shirt off. Francis Ngannou takes his shirt off. John Fury takes his shirt off and then stands in the middle of them, where obviously everyone's taking pictures. And somebody's just kind of like, move back there, mate. But he always just gets far too involved, doesn't he? I think, like, if my dad behaved like that, I would have to... What's that thing that Macaulay Culkin did, you know, he divorced his parents? <laughs> you know, I, could, he, I don't understand how that behaviour is. And then he offered offered Mike Tyson a fight. I thought, man, like, you pick your battles, dude. You know? He's, yeah. Have you seen the in the build-up to Tommy Fury fighting Jake Paul? He, uh, John Fury says to Jake, he, he's doing all the trash talk, and Tommy's just sat there just looking embarrassed. <laughs> And he, he he says to Jake, he says, after the fact, I, I can't do his accent. But oh, you were close then? No. Nah, that, was, that was pretty I close. Yeah. I had like um, that if that was good. He was like, he's, he's going he's gonna to take your missus and bend her over or whatever. Oh. And Tommy sat there like, oh God, <laughs> <laughs> he puts his head in his hands. After the fact, you big dosser, he's going to take your missus. <laughs> yeah. I bet you can do a good uh, Yeah, I bet you could actually. No, nah, I, I don't think I could. No, I stopped putting the pressure on me, man. What's ah. accent today? Oh, I'm a fighting man. <laughs> George has got it. George has got it down. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I just don't, I can't <coughs> believe that somebody, what is he? He's like, he's got to be, over, he's over 50, right? Uh, yeah. Well over, right? Imagine, yeah. How can he be acting like that at that age, man? Like, it is embarrassing. You, speak of that, you see the one where like he, uh, I fucking lose track of them all. Bunch of, <laughs> bunch of clowns. But like, one of them was fighting KSI. Which one? Tommy. Tommy. Yeah. And <laughs> John Fury, they, but they squared off like behind some perspex. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He starts punching it. <laughs> and he starts pushing it, but then headbutts it. Like. <laughs> Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Like, just get a grip. <laughs> I, I you saw, know what? I, I, I saw some of it where it was like, um, <laughs> when you get a, when you get a blowjob through a glory and then find out it's your daughter. Fucking George is on it. It's, it's fucking this week, man. What have you been putting in your Cheerios? That's fucking quality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found another video on the internet, which um, I, I've 
I put this on. just a video as we saw on the internet this week. <laughs> Shit we saw this week. <laughs> I, my note is massive balls, and I thought you'd enjoy this because it's fucking well funny. <laughs> I'll tell you a word for it. 40 year old Dan Mora suffers from a mysterious medical condition that has taken over his life. I'm sure I've seen this. <laughs> it's fair. For I the think. last seven years, what? his testicle sack has been growing <laughs> uncontrollably. That sounds fake. Yeah, that's fake. <laughs> No, it's real. I can't even see it. Body. Have you been sucking like into it, mate? Look at his balls. The best way I can describe the weight <laughs> for someone if point, point to over. in your head um, would be to slit open your scrotum and put in three large bowling balls. Look, yeah, that's, that's fake, mate. I've seen it. It's fake. Yeah, ah, I, uh, I, I, I can tell my not. It seems fake. His testicle so sack. Since I said that, you know. The unusual condition. You don't have to keep playing it. Are you saying that's not real? I'm sure I've seen that before. This sounds fake. The narration makes it sound fake. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene off South Park, you know, where his balls are that big. He's got to put, he gets a, um, a wheelbarrow and he's walking around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, how long have we been, been going? This week? It's, it's got, we've got F- to be 51 minutes. Oh, get in. 51 minutes of absolute drivel. Did um, did Sister Beard see last week's episode? Oh, I don't think she's seen it yet, thankfully. She's not. No. She even seen the reel we put out? Uh, I don't think so. We tag, uh, you tagged her in it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to tag her in it, but you just tagged her in it. <laughs> she's, luckily, Jenna is much like me. She has a very good sense of humor. She doesn't take herself too seriously. So she, she's not going to get offended by things like, you know, things heard and seen. <laughs> God bless her. Oops, someone's ringing me. I saw a lot. Why don't you answer it? It's not been, uh, it's been wildly unprofessional so far. Come on, can I answer it? Who is it? No, it's like on the business line. You will let me answer it? No. No. Why not? It'd be funny for the podcast. Come on. It wouldn't be Come funny. on, sacrifice it for the podcast. Oh, they rang oh, off now. Gone. Oh, shit. Can't have been that important. Um, did I, uh, current effect, were you talking then? Were you going to tell us? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, this is a nightmare. This podcast. Today. <laughs> this is part of that fucking I've video lost, I filmed. I've, I've lost it today. I don't know. What's, I, I, I've lost all um, order. Uh, I saw it online. And I thought you guys, you'd appreciate that I'm bringing this to the table. So apparently, um, for the first time in 28 years, the Premier Premier League's going to have a game on Christmas Eve. Is that true? Is that true? Yeah. And the last one oh, was no. Leeds United versus Man United in 1995. I did know that. So some team is playing. Can you Google Some that? team. I'll have a look. I don't know which it could be. That's so, I think that's so bad for her. I don't, there's, there's no necessity for it because in my mind anyway, I'm not complaining for the sake of it, but like footballers spend a lot, of, like especially at Christmas time, they don't really get much time with their families. Because they play boxing it. day, don't they? They play boxing day. There's like normally a full uh, full uh, schedule on boxing day. And they'll sometimes play like midweek. And then there's New Year's day. Yeah. So you get very little time. And I think as well, like, is anyone really going to be watching football on Christmas Eve? I'm, I'm probably like, even if I still play Christmas Eve, I'm probably not watching it. I'm probably yeah. going to be watching like a Christmas movie or it's Wolves versus Chelsea. Are they good? Any good teams? So, that, I'm not sure that'll skip that. I, to be fair, like, I mean, w- Wolves are, 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 I, I quite like watching Wolves. I thought Chelsea were pretty good. Chelsea comedy. They're getting better. They had Lamp- Lampard, didn't they? Is he? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Not, yeah. What, what do you mean playing or managing? Because like you've been away that, all oh, right. He's been manager since <laughs> been then. Is he a manager for them? Not at the minute. Oh. But, oh. 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 Yeah, he was. Yeah. Caretaker manager. Uh, any more talking points, George, for this week? Uh, before we, before oh, we, yeah. Before we uh, get over to the old Patreon. Um, <laughs> that's French for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> What's German for Patreon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that took me so much. It's like fucking Lumiere from, uh, from from Beauty and the Beast. Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you do is a fucking like caricature. <laughs> Jesus, right? What we got to talk about anything else? Or is that it? Can I've, I, I've, I've, had, I've had a look at um, as projected hundredth episode. Our projected, yeah. The hundredth episode of Breaking Bread. If we do keep putting one out one every week and don't skip weeks. Um, <laughs> we are in line to have the hundredth episode on the week of New Year's, which is a strange coincidence. Get the fuck out! A hundred episodes. So though. Think about doing, that. How are we doing? Anything? How have we survived this far? Imagine, right? How what you could have done with those one hundred hours? <laughs> Imagine how productive you could have written a book. You could have written your fucking. Your, 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 I don't know what you could have done, man. You, you could have created your magnum opus, man. 
Don't they say that to become an expert at something, you've got to get 5,000 hours. So we're a long way off experts in podcasting at the minute. 10,000, You it? know what? I'm praying to God we don't make it to 5,000 episodes. I thought it was 10,000. It might be 10,000. 5,000 each, we'll we're split not, We're not making it to 10,000. Anyway, so whatever. This... <laughs> One of us will die before then, I reckon. Statistically. <laughs> Nailed on, man. Oh, yeah. me. Are we going to do anything for the 100th episode? Probably should, shouldn't we? Yeah. We should it, it, could, it could, if nothing else, be a good, like, top 100s. No, that'll take too long. Uh, I don't know. We could, we could do something like century related, one one hundred related. We'll, we'll we'll chalk that one up. We'll put at least five minutes of effort into that one. <laughs> uh, we'll buy a um, hundred balloon. You know, like a balloon, like one zero zero, not a hundred balloon. <laughs> so the special episode will be we'll buy a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> That's about our speed. Yeah, a hundred balloons. That'd be funny. Just a full fucking studio full of balloons. <laughs> I think we're going to get a, uh, I reckon in the new year, our subscriber count's going to accelerate and our listenership. And I reckon <laughs> by summer next year, we'll have a plaque for this podcast. <laughs> the only plaque you're going to get is that shit you get on your fucking teeth, mate. <laughs> <laughs> fucking plaque. Uh, we're going to do a festival before we go on to, um, have you done festivals? Yeah. Before we go on to Patreon? Yeah. Let's do some festivals. <laughs> you love it? Uh? This week's been a fucking write-off, man. It would have worst of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, mate. All right, it's first festival. Split with the missus a few months ago as she was seeing someone else who she's now moved into our marital home. I still have the Hive heating app on my phone. I keep turning it up to maximum when they go to work. Hope it's costing them a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> that's yours, that, isn't it, George? That's, that's <laughs> your <broke up> with <laughs> missus. <laughs> that is petty, but I uh, quite like it. <laughs> That is good. I like that. Next one. My amazing wife took me away for my 40th birthday. The holiday house was amazing and looking forward to some peace and relaxing. I walked into the next room and my entire family was there. Instead of being delighted, I very audibly said, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds well, like him. You know what? Yeah. One time I went, uh, when I turned 30, uh, Linz was like, oh, I've got this lodge somewhere, right? I can't remember what it was now. Someone near Norwich, but it's quite nice. Um, and I, t I turned up there. And we'd be like, oh, this is quite nice. Putting all the clothes out and stuff like that. And then uh, I turn around because Norwich is pretty far from Leeds, right? And one of my mates is walking up the driveway. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's like, oh, cheers, mate. I'm here for your surprise birthday party. And I'm like, oh, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think he appreciated that. But yeah. And last vessel. Uh, second wife is 11 years younger than me. She wants kids. I don't, as I already have three. I've never told her I had a vasectomy, so I can't anyway. She's just announced she's pregnant. This will be interesting. That sounds like Danny from Red Eye Takeaway story. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> you can't say that. We you can't, it's like they've, they've done like 40 million press releases know, we, on we, it. We give him enough fucking hammer on this podcast. <laughs> He's a friend of the show. He was like episode number one, wasn't it? Or like guest number one. Was he guest number one? Yeah, he was guest number one. Was he? Yeah. And there's, there's like, head, like there's a headline article in the fucking Barnsley Herald. Man who had a vasectomy 20 years ago is now having a surprise baby with a new wife. <laughs> it's literally a danny. <laughs> I keep thinking, what, I, I, you know, when I go away somewhere, just get a like a slight vasectomy, but I don't get the pain would be too much for me. So it's, it's like you've been kicked in your nuts for like a week. Oh, does it? Yeah. yeah apparently. You said you were a jaffer anyway. Yeah, nah, man. I'm like, if we take into account my, uh, my goal scoring ability, I'm probably going to be hitting the target one out of one. Oh yeah, that's a joke. Um, but like, I, I I do. I keep saying to Lindsay like when we start, if we do, I say when, if we do start trying, I want. I kind of want to do it like you know. Normally, you just got to be like in some in the ovul ovulation cycle somewhere. You're supposed to be sleeping with each other like all the time. Basically, yeah. I don't have the energy for that. <laughs> so I'm thinking like I would get some joy out of the fact that we did it once, and then she said I'm pregnant. I'd be like, 100 percent accuracy. Yeah, you know you what might, I mean, yeah. So you think that's possible? I, well, it, it, it's statistically possible. We'll give, we'll give it a try. I just don't know if she'll be down for that, you know? She'll be loving it, man. She'll be like, come on, it's time. <laughs> give me a break. Can you just like put a load in the fridge and just... A load in the fridge? I don't think that's going to get... What, they're trying to get the fridge pregnant? <laughs> 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 come on, George, where's the, where's the sound effects? <laughs> Clip that one. That makes me sound funny. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, anyway, let's Store not... Store some for later. I don't want to think about that. Yeah, what, like artificial insemination? Yeah, just start milking that's yourself. Not about that. No, that takes just as much effort, man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a funny comment you said on, uh, you sent into uh, our little chat for stuff to remember for the podcast. Um, it were a Patreon comment. That's why I've not seen okay. it. And it was, someone said, oh, I've been subscribed to this Patreon since 
half six today. Oh, yeah. Do you want to read it out? Let's read it out, yeah. Paraphrase it. <laughs> is this it's like funny. an advertisement for the Patreon? It's, yeah. <laughs> I put it, I know, I put it on the Instagram, didn't I? Uh, oh, did you? Oh, yeah. There. Kirsty Lockwood, join Patreon at 17.37 today and by 18.06, I'd learnt about ejaculation. Three pound a month to learn, worth it. <laughs> so if you want to learn about ejaculation, head over to Patreon for as little as three pound a month. <laughs> we should get like the best comments, like framed or something. We should print them off. We've had some ace comments. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking belter. Well, on that, that on that note, then boys, let's uh, let's, let's check out of this one and head over to the old Patreon. Peace. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs>